<laughs> you have a really great smile, Phoenix. Have I ever told you that? Great smile. <laughs> My name is Phoenix, and this Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for butts. That's right, I said butts. Under your tail, fluffy, stinky, waggy, sometimes saggy butts. Without butts, we wouldn't know what anyone's name is, or what kind of dog they are, or what they ate yesterday. Oh, filet mignon, how sophisticated. Garbage, also commendable. I once heard my human saying, oh, butts are in now. But I'm a dog, butts have always been in. As the old dog saying goes, the butt is the window to the soul. The soul of the shoe you ate, that is. A faulty butt can be an indicator of a problem. It can derail your day, make you feel miserable, and interrupt other important business, like napping. Sometimes, when my butt is on the fritz, the vet takes extra special interest in it, reading the profound clues left behind on my behind. The butt is a great communicator, not just from dog to dog, but also to reflect on oneself. I make it a point to converse with my butt on a daily basis. Sometimes it tells me I should stop eating broccoli, and other times it tells me to scooch it across the floor. No matter what day it is though, my butt always reminds me to take care of myself. Self-care is important to a dog's happiness, and a clean butt is a happy butt. Is there nothing a butt can't do? Butts come in all shapes and sizes, and no two butts are truly the same. I'm here to celebrate all butts equally. Every butt is beautiful, and I'm grateful for them all. So here's to butts, bringing order where there is chaos, bringing duties where there is grass. Happy Thanksgiving, every doggy. May you be gifted this season with the supreme honor of eating the turkey's butt. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think your dogs are grateful for. I'm thankful for you. Okay, thanks. You're thankful for me too. These are thank you kisses. Thank you, mommy, for bringing me to PetCon. Thank you, mommy, for giving me treats to get on this chair. This is gonna sound super cliche, but I'm thankful for all of you guys this Thanksgiving. I'm so grateful and happy that we got to experience PetCon. It was lovely to meet all of you guys, all of your pooches, cat, pigs, whatever furry family member you brought with you. Phoenix had a complete blast. She got all the love, she got all the treats, all the attention, isn't that right? She got to meet Shelby in Memphis from Gone to the Snow Dogs. She was starstruck. I was. We really had such a great time and the one thing that came out of that entire experience was that I finally did it. I made Phoenix an Instagram account so that she could share her thoughts and feelings with the world through pictures. Oh, I had such a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be flying out to LA next week, probably Thursday, so I don't think there's gonna be a video next week. We're gonna be frantically trying to get everything ready for this move. I already removed a bunch of stuff from the walls behind us, so I took down the background. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you wanna see my last video, you can go here, and if you wanna see more dog stuff, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys, not next week, but probably the week after. Bye!